Well, hey, check it out, man. We got the brand new uh, DHP uh, Choppers T-shirt. You know what I'm saying? That was yeah. Four man Choppers, man. You know what I'm saying? The three bar rim. We celebrating three years. You know what I'm saying? Chopping it up right here on Dine East Podcast. That's what's up. A lot up. of y'all be asking, man. Hey, man, how can I support you? And I say, hey, man, just watch the show. And they say, man, how can I really support you? Hey, man, get a T-shirt right now. DineEastonWorld.com. You know what I'm saying? Black, smoke, gray, white. We got the hats. You know what I'm saying? All that. What's going down, man? It's your boy Donnie Houston. Hey, check it out, man. I got a uh, a new job opportunity for y'all, man. Something real live, man. Check it out. If you want to learn how to install the internet cables, a fire alarm, a security access system, you know what I'm saying? You need a new trade. You need an OSHA 10 or an OSHA 30 safety certification. Hey, man, they got you. Call Texas Training Center and Certifications at 281-962-0659 or simply go to www.ttcandc.com or on Instagram. TDC ANDC. You know what I'm saying? They located at 341 Columbia Memorial Parkway, Suite 341E, that's out in Kima, Texas, 77565. You know what I'm saying? They offer hands on training for network cabling, low voltage trade, telecommunications, structured cabling, voice and data. Hey, man, all that. Uh, voice over internet protocol, you know what I'm saying? Hey man, no background check for training, man. Listen, call Texas Training Center and Certifications at 281-962-0659 or simply go to www.ttcandc.com. Subscribe to the Danny Houston Podcast, man. Can you tell me, because you're talking about ad-lib, tell me where the la da 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 where that, where that well, comes from. Well, <clears throat> that comes from the famous, legendary icon, Ronald Osley. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's like, when I heard that back in the young, in my young days, when I heard that, I used to always say, man, how can a, a person say la da 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 sound good like that? And, and I heard him on many of his songs do that. And uh, I used to always be scared to do it. I said, I'm going to practice to do it. I don't really want to do it because I didn't really like taking other people's, you know, they shit. I didn't like taking that. I said, man, I'm, one day I did it, man. And I just, it was just so natural. I thought I wasn't going to be able to hit it because Ronald, I was a cold. He, the boy is still a bad boy. So I'm like, man. So I said, I'm going to try it. So I was, Take a shower. I'm in the shower. You know how you sing in the shower and chill out. I'm in the shower. La da 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 da. And I, I hit it. I said, "Oh man, I hit it!" And I couldn't believe it. So I get nervous. I'm nervous. I said, "Man, I hit it. I ain't never thought I'd be able to hit it." So I just start doing it every day. I start doing it low, smooth, high, loud, different ways until I can master it. And now I master it. So it's like. I started doing it so many different ways and different music, so now it became a trance for me. That's part of so your I, brand. Yeah, yeah so yeah. I get that thanks to Mr. Ronald Osley, A.K. Mr. Big. That's who I get that to, to the Osley brothers. Hmm. And I'm so thankful that they accept me, you know, so I just start doing it in some of my songs and try to change it around a little. But now when I did the song with him, it called, it's called Hold On, and to be in the studio with him to sing that, and hear him say that, it was like, I had just goosebumps everywhere. I'm, I'm really smiling because I'm happy. I'm like, man. And uh, we sounded so much to like, but Ronald can tell the difference and I can tell the difference. But the world can't. It's some producers that I work with know the difference because they're working with me on the song. But as we was laying that song in the studio, in St. Louis, Missouri, in his studio, as we was laying that song, the engineers was confused. They didn't know whose was who. Hmm. So they kept erasing me thinking I'm Ronald and kept erasing Ronald thinking he me. So Angela seen it. Angela Wendell was seen it. So I said, what we have to do is put me, highlight me in orange and highlight Ronald in yellow or something like that. That way y'all don't know which ones. And when they did that, they got it together. But man, as in singing with him was one of the best things in my life to just see him just dress normal and go in there and just knock it out. Knock it out. I mean, he it didn't take him long. He he had like a youngster now, man, singing. I mean, he he got real with it. He took his shirt off and I'm finna go. 
So as the wind was told me, said, oh, he's for nailing that. He took his shirt off. He, he warmed <laughs> up now. And no shit. When that man took his shirt off, man, and we was in this big glass boot, so I could see him. He could see me. And uh, he let me have it. <laughs> I had to do what I had to do because he didn't miss a note. I'm talking about, and when he's singing, I'm actually listening to his voice and listening to the way he's carrying notes and how he's elevating. And I'm like, man, I can't believe this. So I had to really try to just focus. I had to turn my back so I, I won't see him and mess up. And man, it's he's, he's just when we did. And the best part in that song when he say, uh, he say, uh, all right, and Spencer, you got a hold on. When he, when he said that, for me to hear somebody sing my name, because I sung a lot of guys' names in their tracks, and they loved it. But for me to hear him say me, and then he turn around and say, Oh, your mother taught you to hold on. When he said that, I just, it just, that was the brand. You know what I'm saying? Now, his part, I can sing his part of the song since, and this is a shout out to him and the Isaac Brothers and, and Ernie. His, his part of, his verse of the song goes like, Listen up, son, I heard you back in the day. It was a song by UGK. I think you call it one day. You're here, now you're gone. All oh, my life goes on. Cause that one day you prayed for is the day we did this song. You gotta hold on, be strong, and never give up the fight. You gotta stay true to what you do. And everything gonna be all right when he did that come on man when he did that i'm like man so i'm kind of really asking him on that song you know hey mr big you know you and, and when he told me he say you all right if you ever get a leash if they ever unleash you you're gonna be all right but i can tell you this you can do any of my songs you know because you you don't sound bad you sound you know like me Okay, can you, t first of all, because I think it was Gold, DJ Gold told me it was a phone call or something. Like, how y'all even connected? He called a well, house or something? Well, I was at home, chilling. Another off day, I'm chilling. I get a phone call from D-Rex. And D-Rex said, hey, man, we need you at the arena tall wall. Uh, run out of here tonight doing a concert. I said, yeah, I know. He said, well, he want to meet you. I said, man, quit playing with me. And I hung the phone up. Because them guys joke a lot. You know, they... they ESG and all them cats, they comedians, they joke a lot. So, so I think they was just messing with me. So I hung the phone up. So, so I'm like, I wonder why he called me with that. Knowing I want to meet this man, you know. So phone ring again. I said, yo, what's going on, man? What's happening? He said, hey, man, you need to get ready. I'm on my way to get you. Uh, Ron Osley want to talk to you, man. He agreed to do the song. I said, Rick, quit playing, man. Y'all play too damn much. You know, excuse me. Y'all play too much. He said, oh, no, man, I'm serious. I hung the phone up again. This time he called again, but this time Rick was at my house. And he just don't normally come to the artist's house. He was at my house. So I asked the phone, he said, are you ready? I said, no, man. He said, well, man, I'm at your door. So he opened the door, my mom was sitting there. He said, I was telling him, running eyes, that, you know, and said the tall one to meet me agreed to do the song. My mama looked at me and said, Boy, go, go get your ass in there, go get you some clothes on it and get up out of here. That's your break. Get up out of here. So I did. I hear up put on some kind of, no 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 lie. They was there at the arena. When I got there, he was in there. And he's walking around. He had this Fubu red suit on, fly, they curling his hair. He walked around singing for the show. Ernie over there playing his gold and platinum rose guitar. He playing on that thing, tuning it up. So he said, uh, I heard you sound like me, Ronald. I said, well, that's what they say. He said, man, that's the talk of the city. That's the talk of the town. And, and uh, that's the talk of St. Louis, Missouri. So I'm like, man, I don't know. That's what they say. I just sing, you know. So... And the one be say, maybe I told you somebody down there in Houston got your flavor. Well, Ronald was thinking of samples. He thought it was people sampling him. So he on their ass about the samples. Taking the music. Yeah, right, you know, right. taking my samples. Y'all got to clear the samples up. That's where I want money going. So he said, I'll tell you what, sing a song. 
I say, what you want me to sing? He say, sing smooth sailing. Uh, sing hello or sing, just sing a song. I say, okay. So I, Nothing but smooth sailing tonight. Anything that you want from me, it's mighty like tonight. So I said, wait, 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 hold up, hold up. It's, wait, hold up, man. So Ernest said, you sure that ain't your son? So he said, no, that ain't my son. He said, well, I tell you what, give him, he said, give him a hard one. Sing hello. I said, hello, it's me. He said, yeah, said, sing hello. I said, okay. Hello. Hello. Girl, mm. hello, hello, oh, hello, 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 mm. hello, hello. So they, they stop and say, man, you got to So they just had me going through them. So, so Ronald said, that's okay, we're going to do no more. Yeah, when you want to do the song? I said, man, I was shame on my studio. I said, man, I don't want to go to my studio. I don't have to go to your studio. I know, I, said, I know he got, you know, a studio. He said, no, no problem. I've been in the worst of studios too, but we can come to St. Louis, Missouri. And he asked me how many tickets. I said, well, no, D, me, and D. Rec. And we flew down there, round trips. And I had brought some songs that I let them hear that my boy Blue Note did. And uh, Blue Note was one of the coldest producers in Houston. A period you know so uh, we went down there and uh, he heard some of the songs and he actually wanted to buy some but some of the producers I couldn't find I couldn't get in touch with him that he wanted to you know get some of the songs they was nice songs and uh, when we get there you first of all Ron Oswald got a, a brass a brass big bucket outside in front of his house and got every house shoes from size 21 to a, to a, to a seven, so you got to take your shoes off hmm, to well, get in this here. man castle because it's real marble floors, snow white, everything is you know beautiful there. So we did that and get in there and he, he walk us around the house and showed us you know a lot of stuff in there which was beautiful and me and him walking around in the house singing and I turned this corner I'm singing where An Angela Wynn was turning this corner and she thinking it's him. She turned around, she said, oh, man, I like to kiss you in the mouth. I thought you was my husband. <laughs> I said, no, he over there. Uh, and, and the house is so big, and, you know, the big house is like that, got an echo. So all you do is sing and practice on notes, and that's what we was doing. And we didn't realize that we was actually singing the same song. Hmm. And uh, it's like, she said, you got a lot of ways like him. You know, that's all they do is walk around and sing. I said, yeah, he's just practicing. I said, what we do as singers, you know, but they treated, he treated me like I was his son. He treated me very nice. He was very humble, you know, and he said, uh, well, when y'all leaving? I said, after we, you know, do the song in the studio, we're going to leave. He said, no, y'all going to stay here. Ronald was so fly and cold. He, he said, look, I got a limousine service. They're going to pick y'all up and take y'all out. I got some spots I want y'all to go to that I go to. There's not the wish for nothing. Here's a pound of money. You take care of it. And we end up staying like two to three days more. And I had the best time of my life. Everywhere that he sent us was off the change. Beautiful women, clubs was off the change. And they knew who we were. Back then, there was a lot of FUBU. Everybody was wearing FUBU. And we wasn't expecting that. We just come, we was expecting to just go there and do the song and come back. So by them knowing we was out of town, me, all of me, Derek, everybody, no D, we all in FUBU. They let us in those clubs, but those clubs was like suit Just only. Mm -hmm. But with his power, his, he had so much power in that city till whatever he said, they said, oh, we already know they're coming. We didn't have to worry about parking, nowhere to stay, none of that. He took that man took care of all of that, and we didn't ask for that. But he's just, out of kindness, his heart, he did that, man. And, and I always remembered. I got most of it on film, hmm. and uh, it's like, yeah, he he did his thing, man. He he was a man of his word. He took care of us. He told us that at the arena, though. Said, "I'll take care of y'all. Don't worry about it." And that's how that happened. Man, talk and about. And I never put the song out yet. 
playing, and that's but that's gonna be on the album. That's gonna be on the album. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I, I can't wait to hear. It. Yeah, it's it's gonna be out. I might have to stop in on the on a personal. You can, you, you, you can sneak peek of that one, man. You know what I mean? Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston.